Hey everyone. So I have a 16 inch round canvas and I'm going to be doing a bottle bottom pour with the hint bottle bottom. That'll give us seven petals. And I'm going to do um, black and whites, but I also am throwing in some gunmetal, some light gray, some silver to see what uh, we'll get. So I think I'm going to start out with the silver. I see it spit up a little bit. So when you shake them, they like to spit out what's in the cap. And I'm hoping this bottle bottom has been cut evenly because it looked a little off to me. So I'm going to follow that with a little bit of black. Because I do want to keep the dark tone in there. A little bit of white. I'll do some gunmetal. Some Lucas light gray. Finish that with black. Well, this is the Soho Silver. And these black and whites are from Creative Inspirations. The gunmetal is a metallic from Craftsmart. I just want to see how it's going to flow before I decide how many layers to do. <laughs> push it out as far as we can. And then I want to um, black and then white. I'm going to have to pull some of it in when we take that uh, bottle bottom off. Okay. This would also look good on a gray background if you wanted to keep it more neutral. I think it's done dripping. Always be ready with your hand because <laughs> it always drips. So then I'm going to take that skewer, pull from the black end. Just to get the middle set up. some sort of pattern in the middle. Then I'm going to do two coming in. You can get all um, designy with this stuff because you can make it come out, you can make it come in, um, you can do some in and some out. Whatever you're feeling at the moment. If you hear squeakies, that's my washer spinning. <laughs> All right. Let me give it a quick torch to get some of those bubbles out. We will get a few cells, I'm sure. 
all right let's start to tilt and i'm not sure if i want to take it over the edge or not because i think i might just want to stretch it out so when you're doing this and i probably have said it on other videos just keep an eye on your center because you really don't want to lose your design but sometimes you can't help it and I've had quite a few that don't keep the middle so you're not alone don't give up <laughs> Now the base coat um, paint is mixed differently than my pouring paint. Um, I use one part paint, two parts of Floetrol and water to get it to like a um, melted ice cream consistency because you want your paint to flow with it and it does help so that the paint doesn't fold over on the edges. really liking the way that the edges are lacing out so I may take this off of one edge and not have it um, centered but I do want to push it out just a little bit more The key with tilting battle bottoms is to go very slow. Don't rush it. All right, let me bring it back to the middle. I see one spot where I need to go. Before I decide what I'm going to do with it. Okay. This is where you can pick and choose. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of loving that edge here. And I'm not digging that. So I think what we're going to do is bring that this way and go over the edge. very slow moving because we're running out of paint now just tip it just a little bit this way right there it's different always looking for something unique that's not um, intended so let's give that a quick torch and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click below Click on that bell and you'll get notified when I upload the next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join us on Facebook. We have the Parage Posse. Uh, it's a group for artists and for subscribers. You can meet some great artists there and check out all their work. And we talk about other stuff too. But I have a bunch of links below. Check all those out. If you're interested in purchasing paintings, our Etsy shop is below the link. And um, our fan mailbox address is there. 
Uh, if you do resin work, we have a code for Stone Coat Art Coat Resin. And also, um, we have an art page on Facebook too, um, which we use um, mostly for subscribers or for people that are interested in coming upcoming events. I've been posting in both groups, so if you just join one group, you're still going to get all of the events. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye now.